If you are somebody who goes from different cameras to different phones to different phone holders and you've got to change over your Arca Swiss mount, your Joby mount, all these different mounts for tripods, I've got a solution for you. It's coming up. A few months ago I did a video all about tripods and different tripods for mobile photography and this tripod here featured in that video. Um, this is a Ulanzi tripod and Ulanzi, well, they reached out to me after I made this comment and the comment was around the different mounts and the different base plates that arrive on different tripods. You've got Joby tripods, Manfrotto tripods, Arca Swiss mount tripods. There's three different sources, probably even more, and I get a little bit frustrated when I go between different platforms to put my phone or camera onto those. And they reached out and they said, try a hummingbird system, it's pretty good. So I hadn't heard of it before, they sent me some and this is it. Now if you haven't heard of the hummingbird system, don't stress, I hadn't heard of it either. But uh, I'm glad I have now because I've changed over quite a bit of my gear to this system and it's saving me heaps of time. Basically what it is, you've got a heap of these new base plates there on a one quarter inch um, thread here that will go into the bottom of all cam or most cameras pretty much all phone holders. So for me, going between cameras and phones all the time for the content that I make here on this channel, this sort of thing is dead set simple to use. Even with this tripod here, it has got the Arca Swiss mount on it, that one there. I've actually put the Hummingbird base plate on top of this base plate, goes into the tripod. And then for me to change gear over all the time, if I've got this, this uh, phone holder, here with a phone in it. It's a matter of simply clicking it in and that's it. I don't need to unscrew anything. I don't need to move levers around. It just works as simple as that. If I wanted to go now and change this to from the phone holder to a camera, it's a matter of pushing the button on the side here, push that button, out it comes. Here comes a, a camera. Done. It's in there. Simple as that. That is pretty cool. For items like the phone holders, because they're small, because they don't hold a lot of weight, you only need to use this small base plate here to screw into the tripod holder. For a thing like a camera, camera's a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, they also supply you with all the gear that you get, every accessory you get comes with this and this. And this here is about two inches long, it'll give more support to the base of a camera like that. And this little part right here, this little thing, this is ingenious. That is a screwdriver, and that's kind of cool. So that there just pops out like that, and when you want to screw in this screw here, that is the screwdriver. It goes straight into there and turns it around. This is magnetic, holds onto it, nice and simple, just like that. Bloody ingenious, really, really good idea. They sent me a few things to try with this. One of them is actually just a regular ball head, and that there will go, that's a quarter inch thread there, that will go onto well, any light stand, any tripod base plate, and give you that ball head with the hummingbird system attached. And that's the, the button there that you push on the side to let it go, just like that. And, that, and if you want to take that out, push that button again, and it's out. So they sent me this, this came with a base plate. It's got a hot shoe, cold shoe mount on the side here. This base plate, with this base plate, and a longer base plate, comes with all that stuff. Uh, they also sent this one over. This is just a, a, I've screwed this onto my Arca Swiss base plate and now it's a nice quick release for any hummingbird system. They've sent me a little tripod here. It's actually holding onto this light stand right now. I'll show you. There's a little tripod here. It's like a vlogging tri tripod. I'll take the ZAR, there's the light off it. I'll put the light there so you can see it. But there's the tripod, it's got a ball head on it. It's nice and small, it's telescopic as well. So I can open it up that sort of distance and you can sit this as a, like a desktop tripod if you like. But it's got the hummingbird system with it as well. And what I'm using this for at the moment is this light stand right here. This is that uh, R70 light that Ulanzi sent me. I've got the hummingbird system sitting on the bottom of that there. I'll plug it into that system on the top of the tripod there and I'll open the legs back out and there's my feature light right there. That's really cool, it's dead set simple to use. The other thing they sent me was this NATO mount um, hummingbird system. So a NATO mount is, I'll show you in a second, it's like the tripod, the, the camera that I'm using right now uses NATO mounts all over it. I've got one on the top there, 
And what you can use this for is it screws onto the mount. It's also swivel head and tilt head with the Hummingbird system on it. And you think, what are you using that for? Well, I can mount a display on there, a second display when I'm doing video, running and gunning video. I can mount lights onto it. I can mount microphones onto it. It's a very, very good system to use, this NATO system. It's not new, NATO's been around for a long time, but this Hummingbird system, when you combine these two together, that's pretty bloody cool. I've been using this now for about three weeks and I haven't taken it off yet. I'm really impressed with it. I've used it for phones, used it for video recording, the camera that you're looking at right now, it's sitting on top of a Hummingbird system. It, it works really, really well. And because I transfer my gear between tripods, between like, the, the phone, the cameras, between different tripods, this has just saved me a heap of time. It's pretty bloody cool. So if you are somebody who uses multiple bits of gear, multiple tripods, multiple mounts, uh, definitely worth checking it out. I'll put a link down the bottom and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Catch you later. The blackbird inside your chest that calls on you to cry. You decided it was time for him to fly.